welcome back to my channel and today you see by the title we're gonna be making omelets okay now before we get started with all this I want to make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and do not forget to hit that bell down below just so you can get up when I post all my latest videos so now let's get started now this is gonna be the most easiest way to make an omelet. I know you've probably seen people do all this fancy stuff with an omelet, but today, guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make it. All right, for all the ingredients you need, you're gonna need your, your proteins of your choice, a bowl, cheese, pepper, salt, nonstick spray, and of course, last but not least, your eggs. So now, the first thing that we're going to do is cook your protein. Now, what I have here is some Tennessee prize sausage. So I'm going to cook about two of these, and then, oh yeah, I almost forgot. You're going to need your pan. I'm only going to use one skillet because I don't like to wash dishes. I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't like to wash dishes. So we're not even going to make a lot of dishes. Okay. So first, like I said, we're going to cook the protein. Now I'm going to get it started. Be right back. All right, guys. Now, since we have our protein cooking, we're going to start with our eggs. Now, usually for an omelet, I usually only go about two eggs. Two eggs is more than enough for one person. Now, if you're going to make a whole lot of omelets, you might want to do something different, but I only do two eggs. So, that was one. Here's two. Now, I like to put a little cheese in the inside of the omelet before it's actually cooked or anything like that. So, I'll put some cheese in there. Your salt. You don't put too much salt because the proteins, like, depends on what you put in there. Like, usually I put, like, bacon or sausage or ham. I feel like that adds a, enough salt to it, so I'll put some pepper. And I get a spoon. And we're just stirring it up. Now, as we know that it doesn't take a long time for a sausage or bacon or whatever you decide to put in your omelet, it take a long time. So, as long as you have everything ready, so once you take one thing out, the other thing is ready to go in. It's going to be a quick little breakfast. You can make some biscuits with it, some hash browns, whatever you prefer. You can add spinach tomatoes, mushrooms, whatever you like in your omelet. But right now, I'm just making you the basic omelet. Nothing else but eggs and your protein. That's it. That's all. And the cheese. Nothing major. I want you to get this down before you actually start adding your veggies in. Because veggies can make it kind of tricky. It can make the omelet watery. And you don't want that. Like, if you put too much vegetables, sometimes it becomes watery. So, especially with spinach. So, I would want you to start trying to make it like this. And if you want to put the mushroom, you can put mushrooms in there. Like I said, it's going to give it that watery texture if you don't know what you're doing. But let's start here first, and I'll do another video with the veggies in this so you can, so you get the hang of that. But let's just start here. Guys, protein is done. Only made two sausages, by the way. So, I've already cut up the ham. So, what I'm going to do now is just cut up the sausage into small pieces. Now, two sausages is more than enough. Probably too much if you ask me, but I know one isn't enough. So now, since I've already cooked, cooked the sausage, before I put the egg in, I like to put the ham in the pan and just warm it up a little. Like I said, we're gonna use the same pan. I'm not gonna keep the ham in there long, guys. No cold food on top of a hot plate. That's a no-no. If it's cold, 
You put it on a different plate with the other cold thing that you're serving. You don't serve it with the hot food. That's just a no-no. So, I put it in there. Just a couple of seconds. Then I'm going to put it back on here. And you don't even need any oil because it's already oil from the sausage. So you're gonna keep that on about a medium heat. Here's the eggs. Put some eggs in there. And you leave it alone, guys. Leave it alone until you see it starting to cook. Now once it's starting to cook, then I'll be back. But until then, we're leaving it alone. It's starting to cook, as you can see. We're still gonna leave it alone. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some cheese. I'm a cheese lover, guys. I'm from Wisconsin after all. Adding cheese. You're gonna let it cook on that side though. You're not gonna, you're gonna leave it alone. It's ready when it starts to move in the pan. The whole thing starts to move. So you see if I pick it up, it moves. This the top moves. You want the whole thing to be able to move. So you're going to leave it alone. And let it do what it do. Alright guys. My entire video portion of where I added the meat was deleted. I don't know what really happened to it to be honest with you. So I'm just going to explain it here. Now, I let the whole egg cook. You won't see any egg moving around in the pan. You It'll, it'll be able to move in the pan. So then I add the meat. Now, once I add the meat, I only add the meat on one side of the omelet. And then I put cheese on top of the omelet and I flipped it over, flipped the other half over so that the cheese and the omelet will not open, as you see on the previous, on the rest of the video. So, like I said, I added the meat and cheese on one side and flipped it over. I am very sorry that it got deleted. I don't know what I was doing, but clearly not paying attention. So, thank you for watching. All right, guys, as you can see, it's done. Now, like I said, when I put the cheese in the inside, I put the cheese in the inside and I put the meat in, you can cover it with a plate like this and it'll melt the cheese faster. But if you're in no rush, it's no worry. And then you just roll the whole omelet onto the plate like that. The spatula makes it a quite difficult, so I just like to roll it off the pan.